Well, we have some big Matt games, and we don't have to wait till Saturday. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have no, some Matt games we, tonight. Midweek Matt. Tonight we Matt got games Matt football. Tonight. And we'll start at the bottom. Start at the bottom? <laughs> we'll start at the bottom. Kent State at Bowling Green. That, that's a game for the basement. Whoever loses that game uh, can arguably say they're the worst team in the league. Kent State's 1-7, 0-4. Bowling Green's 1-7, 0-4. And neither one of them have looked particularly good since the first couple of weeks of the season. Um, it's interesting. As you know, Bowling Green has fired their coach. Fired their coach. Kent State's got a first-year coach, so he's safe. Right. All right. But, you know, I have a personal, uh, personal opinion about games like this. I think games like this are just as good – as undefeated teams. You got two bad teams going there. You'll see I'm somehow, some way, this is gonna be a really good game. Oh yeah. It, it, you know, I think it's gonna be entertaining. No one yeah. No one wants to be the yeah. worst team right. in, in a conference. Right. So. I think this game could be the best game of the night. And that's not the only game of the night. You got a big one when it comes to standings and postseason that that'll be played as well. And that's Miami at Buffalo. Now this will be the best game of the night. Right. Uh, you know, Miami, you know, Buffalo's been playing well all year. Uh, my, and Miami definitely has, has something to, to prove. No, right. no, I should say Buffalo has something to prove. Although they've been the best team, they have to make sure they lock that yeah, in. Yeah, they got to finish the deal. But, they but Miami finish. has a chance. Miami has a chance. The only thing I'm kind of leery about with Miami is all their three conference wins have come against Bowling Green, <laughs> Kent State, and Central Michigan, which is also winless in the, in the league, so you you kind of got to sit there and wonder, you know, just you know, where is their where is their uh, uh, where is their plateau, where is or where is their peak? Are they really as good as three and five, or are they just the worst bad team in the league? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know. And then we got to go to segue to Thursday. You know, there's some big games Thursday, although they're cross division games, they are important. Northern Illinois at Akron and Ohio University at Western Michigan. Cross-division games, uh, Akron is the only team in that mix that's not really in the championship chase. Northern Illinois they're is... They're coming off a big win. Uh, yeah, they're coming off a big yes. win. They're, they're, they're uh, uh, Statistically, they're still in the hunt, but it's a tightrope for them. They, really, they, need a, they need a lot of help. To, to defend their right. championship. And that big win but was against BYU. Was, uh, no, you're talking about no, Northern no, Illinois. Northern Illinois, yes. Yeah, yes. I was talking about Akron. Northern Illinois is coming off a big win at BYU. They're undefeated in the MAC, uh, first place uh, in, the, uh, in the MAC West. Western Michigan, uh, which plays OU, is uh, second in the MAC West with just one loss. So they got to be careful there. OU is second to Buffalo in the MAC West, but hasn't played Buffalo yet. Uh, I think that game's towards the end of the season. So if they keep tracking that game, that game going down the road uh, will mean a lot. But for now, you know, you got to play who's in front of you. And who's in front of them is Western Michigan, and that won't be easy. 